I have done um, two Ironmans back to back a couple of times, but it was always a three week gap. So I remember, for example, good, a very good example. I like that example. I was fourth at the World Championships in Hawaii, in Kona. And three weeks later, I won Ironman Florida in a personal new personal best in eight hour 43. So my second race was actually even better than my first race. So what I did between was like, I would have one rest week with only some swimming and then a one normal training week and a taper week. So, but now I have the, the hard thing, I have two weeks and I've never done that before. So I just try to listen to my body every single day and just do tiny bits and nothing longer than like over an hour. I only had one longer bike ride, but further I kept everything very short. And well, I don't know if I did the right thing and my coach doesn't know either. She thinks I did an amazing job in these two weeks and I feel really good. I recovered very well, but we will know on Saturday. I can't tell you now how, if I did good. <laughs> oh, I think uh, especially Ironman racing over the full distance, it's all about um, keeping in touch with yourself and your body perception and just listening to, you, to your body. I always talk to myself, what do you need? And I say nice things to myself and I'm just focusing on my breathing and stuff. And um, yeah, it's, it's all about patience, to be honest, and normally 9 out of 10 times patience will pay off in the end.